Welcome back to the channel. This time, we're talking solar. the caravan man is all about solar and solar panels and basically what you can do to get the most out of what you've got most people now with more modern caravans especially over the past five years will probably have a solar panel fitted as standard they have changed in sizes over the various years um, to now where the, the standard solar panel seems to be around about 100 120 watts with the charge controller in the cupboard and that tops your laser battery up but you can squeeze a little bit more out of your panel and uh, maintain your battery a little bit better with a couple of small tweaks. So in this edition, we'll be changing the solar charge controller, explaining a bit more how it all works. And also we've got another little device to go on the battery, which works in conjunction with the char solar charge controller, which hopefully will maintain a bit of battery life. So let's crack on. Why is it when you start talking about solar and sunshine, it starts to rain? Maybe it's just me. Anyway. What we're going to do is we're going to change that little box behind me in that cupboard there with the green light on. Basically, that is the charge controller. Now, for normal applications of just keeping your battery topped up um, to allow your trackers to work, your alarms to work, uh, maintain the battery, anything like that, perfectly fine unit. Not a problem with that. Uh, Truma uh, units like this have been fitted to many caravans over the past, past years, so... The track record very very good on them uh this one is a pwm uh, charge controller which is a basically a pulse width modulation so basically when it's charging your batteries depending on how, what the state of your battery is and what your battery needs the pulses where it turns on and off will get longer so you know if you're taking more out it adjusts its output to to basically compensate for what you're, compensate for what you're taking out i say very good reliable unit but the only problem is not very efficient um you'll get probably between 60 and 70 percent efficiency out of one of these which means if you've got a 100 watt panel you're using 60 watts but you're losing 40 um of usable power so basically that's that's a uh, a little issue with them but again for just everyday basic use of keeping the batteries topped up when it's in storage keeping your alarm working trackers working absolutely fine not a problem at all now if you go off grid a bit and you want to get a bit more out of your solar panel um, what you can do is you can put in an, an upgraded solar charge controller which the efficiency goes up drastically um, between 90 and 95 percent efficiency uh, and they are called MPPT which I have here I think I showed you a quick, quick glimpse of this in the video I did the update video I did a couple of weeks ago so basically this is an MPPT controller from Victron Energy and like I say, this one was in my old Verona for two and a half, three years, and faultless. Can't, can't, can't fault it. Absolutely superb unit. Now you may have heard me mention that where I store my caravan is inside a inside an old barn. Um, basically, it's a metal riding school, which is now disused. It's now just basically for storage and bits and pieces. Um, with that, obviously, we're not going to get much sunlight in here. Um, we have, I don't know if I can really show you actually, if I take us on point to the roof, you can sometimes see there's, there you go, there's these panels every now and then, which basically lets sunlight in, oh, be bright, lets sunlight in, um, so I do get a degree of charge from that, obviously not as much as it would be if it was outside in direct sunlight, but I do get a, a, a bit of charge from there. Um, when I changed my old charge controller to one of these, I got significantly more and was able to charge two batteries that used to power my inverter. So anyway, what we're going to do now, we're going to take that one out of there and put this one in and um, should we port back in a moment. Right, so there you are. There's a new charge controller in and there's the other one I've just taken out. Like I say, quite similar in size, but this uh, Victron Energy unit is a much more efficient unit than this one. Like I say, it uses the power that comes into the caravan much more efficiently than you know, the other one did. But let's say that this one here, I'm just taking out, 
isn't going to go to waste. This basically is going to go into the back of the Land Rover. Um, I did sort of allude to what I did to the Land Rover in the update video. Um, as I say, oh, a shadow of me in the wall. Um, there's a Land Rover there. Obviously, Land Rover sits in the barn most of this, well, all his life. Um, gets taken out occasionally, so obviously the battery can go flat. So on the back of the tub, I showed you a sort of picture, gave you a little snippet of what I'd done for it. I put a 120 watt panel on the back of that. Uh, which goes into a charge controller in the back and then basically that used to charge the battery which did the inverter now the inverter as i decided is not going to go back into here it's going to go back into the back into the defender so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put one of the gel batteries back in that charge controller will power the battery in the back to keep that topped up for the inverter but also um those of you in the know on vehicles know that you have a separate line which goes back to the battery for your gray socket now that gray socket is the one that does your battery charging running your fridge does the lights if you need to come in here it can run the the caravan off the car um so it's like an auxiliary circuit but there's also a permanent 12 volt feed directly back to the battery now for me to keep my land rover topped up i use that 12 volt feed um so basically on the these charge controllers if i can show you you see there's a solar panel goes in on the middle then on the outside there's battery one and battery two so what i do is the battery one you often goes to the engine via the grade lead that goes the whole length of the vehicle and the battery two will go to the inverter to get the inverter battery topped up um so it's not going to go waste that can be reused repurposed in that that'll probably be another video i'll probably do on that yeah i fancy doing a video on that um obviously because it's still caravan related in a way the tow car that tows this caravan so I, I could justify it, I think. Yeah, so right, what I've got to do now is the Victron Smart Energy charge controller I just put in there. I'll say I need to check the app for that. So what I'll do, I'll uh, get the other phone out and show you how I check it and how what data you can get. And um, yeah, we'll do that now. So right, I've just swapped to my other phone. You have to excuse me. This one's a little bit older than my iPhone that you can see in front of you. So this charge controller has an app with it. So what I can do, if I go onto the charge controller, there you go. Right, that's what it's saying there. That is one I'm using. Um, obviously, I'm going to change all this data again, so that's public knowledge. So there you go. That, yeah. So my phone is now linking to the charge controller, fetching the data, and obviously that's what we're doing at the minute. Um, it tells me the voltage, uh, what the panel's drawing. Now, obviously, we're inside a barn, and it's starting to get dark, so we've not got any power coming in at all. Um, Battery's running at 13.6 volts, not drawing any current, or well, producing any current because obviously it's the zero. Um, again, that's what the battery's in the vehicle. Once I've got the lights on, so that is a little bit of a drop. So all the lights in here are LED, so a very, very minimal drop. So not drawing any any massive amounts of current. And yeah, charge state is off because there's not enough not enough juice coming into it to do anything with it. What this will do as well, this app, it will tell you what you've produced over a couple of days so you can look back and see what it is and obviously there's a trends button there which is another other thing um there is a another setup screen here which is all the stuff so you can set what battery you've got what it is what the voltage is what the main current charge is there's all sorts of stuff and because it's linked to the internet um this app obviously um victron every now and then will update your um your programming in it so get, there's like a patch update for it which usually does it does it quite well so you're very happy so like i say it doesn't do much while you're in the barn but um we're out in the field it does very well right so that's the charge control swapped over and working fine um obviously so i'll say in the barn not going to work that well but outside we'll see a noticeable difference now i've been using victron energy stuff a fair while now and i've just had another little package delivered um this is a what they call a battery sense um unit to basically what this does this attaches the battery so let me flip you around so you can see it so this is the little, it's only a little tiny little box but this is the uh the box that's uh, been sent um two terminals on it uh, obviously a plus and a minus inline fuse and that will end up helping the charge controller make best of what we've got so basically what this little box will do this box will get the temperature of the battery so obviously as a battery gets colder and it warms up the charge rate and the charge capacity will change 
So if you get a nice frosty night or whatever like that, in the morning the battery will be colder than it should be, even though most of the batteries now are in the middle of the floor like this one is. So what will happen is this will sense the battery controller and once the charge starts happening, this will work in conjunction with the charge controller in the cupboard and often deliver an appropriate amount of current to keep the battery charged. So let's get fitting that in. Right, as you can see, my battery on my uh, Bailey is in the middle of the floor, which is where most of them seem to be now. Um, and obviously, it's a low level 110 amp hour back battery, um, 12 volt. And luckily for me, the terminals on my little box I bought here are ring terminals. And lucky for me, I've got wing nuts. So I'm going to put these in and hopefully have a bit of power. Well, as you saw there, quite an easy straightforward install and we have a little blue flashing light saying that the Bluetooth is Bluetooth is, uh, is up and running. So next thing, I need to grab my phone. So there you are, there's a little box in there flashing away to itself. Now I've gone onto my, onto my app and there she is. So let's click on that. Fetching data. So as you can see here, I've just tried to pair with it and obviously it's now paired, but it's now asking me for an update. And this says is one of the good things I like about the Victron Energy um, products. Uh, if there's an update, they'll update it. So let's update that. So there you are, updated. And it's now reading the battery voltage and the bulk battery temperature. Superb. Now we'll do now is network it to the charge controller. So to do this, Looks relatively quite easy, so I think you press this button in the corner here. That's right. And then you press networking. I'm going to create a network because you want to join the two units together. I'm just going to make a network up, but I can't show you. Shh. Right. So the network has been made on the charge controller. So this is the other. So this is basically the battery sense itself. So let me put these down there again. So again, press the button in the corner. Smart networking. And it asks you to join a network or join existing. So basically we've done a, we've made a network. So we'll do a join existing. Right, so there you go. So there's both items on the on the list now, device list. If I go into Smart Solar, you'll now notice that halfway down here, where we didn't have before, we have now battery temperature. So that means that that's all now working lovely. So what will happen now is once we get a bit of a sunny day and we're outside, the smart charge controller in the cupboard will now take advice from the battery sense monitor and that will hopefully get a bit more life out of the charge controller and the panel and maybe maintain the old um, battery life as well. So all good stuff. Right, so that brings this brings this edition of uh, Chris the Caravan Man to a conclusion. Um, don't like it looking at myself without my glasses on. Bear with, I look all blurred. Ah, there I am. Superb. So everything's all done. So the battery sense is now in. We've now paired it with the charging controller in the cupboard. And I've shown you that you know, everything's on there working fine. So, so if we go away in a couple of weeks' time, we have, do have electric hookup. But what I tend to do every now and then is I will unplug the mains and just have a look and see what the battery charger does after a couple of hours and the solar charger does after a couple of hours. Let the battery rest for about two hours, then go back and have a look and see what the charge controller is doing via the app. And nine times out of ten, we have a quite, quite pleasant result. Pleasant results. Um, yeah. So thank you for joining me on this edition. Um, if you like, click like. If you want to subscribe? I'll be more than happy if you did. Uh, Any one of the notifications, click the bell, um, and we'll be back very soon with some more caravan-related stuff. Bye for now.